What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are now going to continue our discussion on Clash Detective. So last time, we have run our Clash. We created a Clash test and then we have selected our uh, selection A which is Duck and then selection B which is uh, Pipe and then after that, we have run it. And then this is now the results. Okay, so this is now the results step. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the options on our results tab so we have here new group okay so if you want to create a new empty clash group okay so you can use this one so you can click that and then it will create a new group here so let's say this is going to be uh, proximity meaning clashes that is near to another clash or clash that is near to another clash or to another issue so for this one if i select clash one here okay and then select clash three that's actually near to each other right so if i select clash one so that's your clash one and then i have here my clash number three let me see my clash number two so clash number two is a bit far so clash one and clash three is near to each other so i'm gonna put that on proximity group so i'm going to click uh, clash one and then i'm going to drag that to proximity so it's now there and also clash three so i'm going to drag uh, clash three to the proximity group okay so that's how you create a new group okay now another options here is group selected clashes which I already shown last time but let me try to do it again so by the way for this clash I'm going to remove this uh, group here okay so we know already how to create a new group so that's how you do it so now I'm going to delete this group so to delete to delete a group you just need to click this icon here so explode group so click it uh, this one and it will now exp uh, explode the group so let's use the other option here which is group selected clashes so what you do select the clashes that you want to group like for example i want to group uh, maybe i want uh, 9 and 10 okay so i'm going to select clash 9 and then i'm going to hold control and then i'm going to select clash 10 so it's now selected and then after that i'm going to select this one group selected clashes so click that one and there you go so it's now group right so you just need to click that okay so it's now group okay so if you click that again you will be able to rename it okay again if you want to ex uh, explode your group you just need to select this explode group all right so let's click this one all right so that's how you create a new group and then also that's how you group selected clashes all right and then another option that we have here is assign so if you want to assign responsibility for selected clashes okay so you can assign that and then after that you can select a note here okay so let me cancel that one so what else so we also have here comment so add comment so like for example i want to add a comment I'm going to group uh, Clash 1 and Clash 3, okay? So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to group it, okay? And then after that, I'm just going to add a comment on my new group. So I select that one and then I select add comment. So let's click that one and then you can add a comment here, okay? So issue, close to each other okay so something like that and then the status here so let me just make it like an active and then select okay there you go okay so i now have a comment here okay so now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to right click to show some options whenever you right click on our results window here so if you right click you can see copy name you can see paste name rename so these are all very basic okay and then there's also assign here and then there's also add comment and then there's also group okay and then there's also a quick 
filter by. So let's say you want to uh, filter it by status, you just need to select status or assign to. Or you can also sort it by proximity. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this. So select this and then I'm going to explode. And then I'm going to select name here and then click again just to arrange again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange this one by proximity. Okay, so what are the issues that is near to each other? Okay, so I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to select any, any issue here. You can right click here, any part of the window. So right click. And then select sort by proximity. So let's click that one. And then as you can see, 6-4. Maybe 6-4. Right? So 6-4 is near. And then 3-1 is near. Okay. 7-7. Uh, oh, this one is far already. So maybe 9-10. Eight. So, so these are the proximity. So let me select six, four, three, one, and then I'm going to group that. There you go. Okay, and then I'll just click outside, and then I'll click new group. This is my proximity. So as you can see, this is my first group. Okay, so proximity one, enter. Okay, so that's how you arrange your issues or sort it by proximity. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is, these are all very uh, self-explanatory. Now let's go to the report. Okay, so we know already how to set the rules, how to select the elements, and how to check on the results tab. So let's go to the result. Okay, so on the result, what are the contents that you want to be uh, showing on your uh, report? Okay, because you can export that one. So you can export your current report by XML, HTML, HTML tabular text or as viewpoints. And then these are the contents that you can show when you export your uh, issues. Okay, so let's say I'm just going to check all of this. And then here on the right side, you can specify what are the statuses that you want to be included to your report. So you can check all of this or you can uncheck some of the statuses here. And then for the clash groups, you can include the group headers only, individual clashes only, or everything. So I, I'll just select everything here. Okay, and then for the output settings here, so I want the current test and then what is now the uh, report format. Okay, so let's say I'm going to select HTML tabular. Alright, and then I'll just select here. Oh, how about I'll just use XML file. XML and then I'll write the report. So that's it. Okay, so you can click the drop down here to see you have other options here, which is all files or xml so only xml so let me just save it on my desktop okay that's the name and then save that's it okay so it's now saved so if i go to my desktop and open it let's look for that so where is it uh, level one l1 this one so let's double click this to open up so this is how it looks like. So it's an XML file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this in um, Excel file. Okay, so let me open this in Excel file. So let me close that one. So let's go to my Excel. Okay, so that's my Excel. And then open. Uh, browse let's go my level one open uh, as an XML table okay so that's good so I select open okay okay and then I'll just select okay there you go so there's now my report 
Oke. Okay. Okay, but this one is I don't like this type of report. So what I'm going to do is let me export again to another uh, type here. So instead of XML, so I'll use uh, HTML tabular. Okay, so let's try this one out. Right, report. Okay, let me save it on my desktop. So save. So let's try opening it. Let's go to desktop. Uh, where is my HTML? So I'm going to right click here. Sort it by type. And change this. Where's my view here? This one. So list. Okay, so this one. There you go. So there's my HTML report. Okay. All right. So basically, this is how you uh, write the report or export the clash report to HTML and I think you can also open this in Excel file so let's try this one out so XL Excel and then let's open up browse and then let's go to desktop mm, this one open there you go so you can open also that in Excel all right Okay, so that's it for our simple exercise for Navisworks uh, Clash Detective. Okay, so okay, so that this is not the one. So let me just close this, cancel that. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from from this uh, simple exercise about our Clash Detective. So it's not that difficult as long as you already have the models appended to your project so you're all good to go so you just need to set up the rules and then select the elements that you would like to clash and then after that run the test okay you can specify if it is a hard clash clearance or duplicates and then you can also include here the tolerance so after you select so you run the test and then after that results so from here you can just assign the clashes to another user you can change the status you can check each clash if it is really a clash and then after that you can specify the status if it is uh, reviewed approved or resolved okay and then don't forget to uh, create your clash Okay, because you will not be able to run a clash test if you don't have a clash test. So that's why so there's an add test here. Okay, so another thing that uh, you need to consider is also the display settings. So this is your display settings. Okay, so once you're done with your results, so you can now go to your report. So that's it. So four simple um, steps. So specify the rules. Oh, I mean, create first the test, specify the rules, select results, and then the report. Okay? So, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.